Welcome. Today, I'm going to share with you our Enterprise Advantage 2.0 platform and the enhancements that have been made to your current solution. If you have questions about your logins or your account structure or services, you can reach out to your customer service team or your account manager for help. The URL for Enterprise Advantage 2.0 is displayed on your screen. You'll receive this link when you receive your login credentials. You'll enter the address into your web browser to launch the login screen. I'm going to talk about how the platform is configurable based on a customer's needs or account setup or even a specific user's security rights. I want to point out the security standards. This product is Safety Act approved by the Department of Homeland Security. They've deemed our solution an anti-terrorism tool because of our security standards. And we're also Safe Harbor certified by the European Union. If you're interested in more information, click on the logos here at the bottom of the page. Now with your login information, you'll be able to sign in to your specific account. When a specific user logs into this platform, what they see and do could be completely different from another user's access at your company. And of course, completely different from another company and how they might access and use our platform. Now as our flagship screening product, Enterprise Advantage is highly configurable and can be set up for your organization's needs. Your logins will be changing from your existing First Advantage logins and you'll get information via email pertaining to all of that. Now you'll need three pieces of information to log in to Enterprise Advantage. You'll need your client ID, which is essentially your account number, your user ID, and your password. Initially, when you log in, you're going to be prompted with the FCRA notice. Now this is so that you understand your responsibilities with regard to the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You'll need to click I agree to continue. If you do select I decline, you won't be able to move on. Now let's talk about the dashboard here in the middle of my page. On the Home tab, you'll now have access to a very handy dashboard. The dashboard gives you quick access to reports as well as a way for you to quickly see what's going on with the orders recently placed under your account. It gives you a bird's eye view of the process of background checks. You can see whether they're complete, whether they're in progress, and if they're complete, whether there are any alerts or potential discrepancies that have been found. The default view for the dashboard displays stats for orders that were submitted in the last seven days. However, you can go up to 90 days by making a selection from the drop-down. And be sure to click the Update button to update the results on the dashboard. Now inside of Enterprise Advantage, as each individual search completes, it's flagged red, yellow, or green based on the results of the search. So as you can see here, I have reports that are completed, and some have some type of alerts. Clicking on the number under a section will take you right in to view those detailed result reports. Now don't th think that this means that you have to log into the system all the time to check on the status or view the results of your searches we can send you email notifications to let you know that you've completed, you have completed reports. And you can configure those email notifications under administration. And I'll show you how to administer that functionality and frequency a little later in our training. But again, as soon as you get the email that says that you have a report that's complete, 
this dashboard will be a very handy tool to take you to those details that you'll want to review. The navigational toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen can be configured based on your company's use. Today, we're going to talk about the Home tab, Employment Screening tab, Administration, Help, and Reports. You can use the arrow in the upper right-hand corner of the navigational toolbar to collapse and expand that toolbar. That allows you to maximize screen space. This is helpful if you're working on an iPad or on a phone. Now I'm going to get us started here with ordering a background screen. Under Employment Screening, clicking on New Order will allow you to do just that. You'll be able to use packages and or a la carte ordering options depending on what your account is set up for. Now this is going to mirror what's existing in your account today. So if you have packages that you choose from now, those packages will still be here for your use. And if you don't, and you just use a la carte options, you'll still have that option here. If your packages or searches are not set up as you expect, you can reach out to your account manager or your customer service team for help with that. Just remember that your account will be customized according to your company's specifications. Now let me show you a couple of handy features of our order entry process. One is that your contact information as the logged in requester will be displayed here at the top of the screen. And that's how the system will know to send you an email regarding the status of the report. The Client Reference ID and Client Reference To fields can be used if you need to collect information such as location or department codes. And if you like, those fields can be customized and we can make them required. Just contact your account manager or customer service team to take care of that. I'd also like to point out, again, how you can collapse these sections using the arrows in the upper right-hand corner of each portion and that allows you, again, to maximize your screen space if you're working on a smaller screen. Now when you choose a package, the system's going to display what's included in that package. And the quantity will show how many of each component is included in the package according to your scope. So for example, my basic package includes a national criminal file search and a social security number verification. And then, depending on your account structure, you may or may not have the ability to add a la carte searches. If you add an a la carte search, you'll do it by highlighting that option and then clicking on the arrow to add it to your selected search types. Now depending on what type of screening you run, the tabs across the top of the page will change depending on the information that you need to provide in order to run the searches. Now it's, very, it's a very handy way to make sure that you're entering everything that you need in order to successfully complete the background screen that you want. All the required fields are going to be highlighted with a red asterisk and a yellow tone. That way you know exactly what you need to provide and what you can leave blank if you don't have it. I'm going to go ahead and begin entering a candidate's information. First and last name, date of birth,
You can check the box to include a copy of the report to the subject. Uh, when this option is selected, a copy of the background screening report and the consumer summary of rights will be mailed to the subject. And the social security number. Now, as I enter information, it's validated wherever possible. For example, the date of birth has to be in the appropriate format. And if I were to enter the year of 2013, the system would generate an error message for me. Now, we do recommend that you enter as much information as possible to ensure timely and accurate results. The current address is also validated. It's validated against a postal database. So it does need to be a real address for the system to allow you to proceed. And then there's also the basic data validation that you would normally expect, like a social security number has to have nine digits. And you are required to confirm the social security number. Now if the package that you ordered includes a social security number verification, the system is going to automatically run that search when we click on the Next button. So it's extremely important that you verify the number is correct prior to clicking Next. If the wrong social security number is entered, you will be running a database search for the wrong subject, and you will be charged for that search. Now as I scroll down the page, you can see that there are also fields for additional information. If you have other addresses that you want to enter for an individual, you can provide them here in the Address History section. If the individual has been known by other names, such as a maiden name, you can select Yes here, and then the fields will open up for you to enter in that information. And there's also the Admitted Charges field. I also want to mention that you can save your order at any time. So if you start an order and you get called away from your desk, you have the ability to save that order. And it will be there for you to complete the next time you log in. Now I've entered an individual's information. And you can see here that one of the options is to attach a document to the order. If you'd like to attach a copy of the individual signed consent for the background screen, you can do that right here. You no longer have to fax it in. You select your document first, and then from Document Actions, select Upload. Then you can navigate to that document and upload it right to the system. Now when you do that, not only would First Advantage have that in the event that we need it to complete a search, but you would also have it in order to retain an electronic copy of it along with your background screen. It's free document storage along with your order. And I'll show you where you can view those attachments a little later on in the training. Now depending on what searches you're running, you'll have to enter more or less information. So if I had a motor vehicle record search in this order, there would be a tab along the top in which I could enter the driver's license information. And the same goes for education or employment verifications. If I were doing those, I would have a tab to enter that information on. Now you can click on the tabs to enter the information, or you can just go consecutively through the data entry by clicking on the Next button. After you've completed your data entry, the Review Order page is where you'll review the information that you entered. Now the system is going to tell you if you're missing any information that you need by highlighting it in red.
we also provide a missing information function. So say that you didn't have the date of birth, and we're going to need it for some of the searches that you're ordering. If you enter the candidate's email address, we can have the system generate an email to that individual. And they will then log into a secure site and provide the missing information. And then the order will progress from there. At this point, after you've reviewed your information, you would click on Submit Order to place your order. I'm going to exit this order. And now I want to talk to you about how to check on the status and view the results of your background screens. Now remember, you can be set to receive those email notifications about the status of reports, or you can use the dashboard to quickly gain access to your pertinent results. But you also have the ability to search the entire database of the screens that you've ordered. Under the Employment Screening tab, Search Orders. And there is where you can search for those orders using a multitude of different criteria. Now before I go into Search Orders, let me point out some helpful tools that are built into this platform to make sure that you can use it successfully. There are these little I instruction buttons that are strategically placed throughout the platform. These instruction quick links do just that. They provide you quick access to helpful information throughout the platform. Wherever you see a little green eye, you can hover over it, and the instructions are going to appear for you. You move away, and the instructions disappear. You can click on it, and the instructions will stay. And you can actually move them around to a more convenient place on the page. So you'll notice these little green eyes throughout the platform to provide you assistance as you go through. So back to our searches here. At the top of the screen, you can see we have a list of power searches. Now power searches are quick predefined searches that are commonly used. Say you only want to see uh, individuals that are in progress. or you wanted to go into any order that you've saved. You could run this incomplete search, and you could review those. And then you could decide if you want to cancel the order that you've saved, or go ahead and finish filling it out to proceed. Or if you wanted to see reports that are completed that you've not yet looked at that have some type of alert, you could view the unviewed completed with alerts search. And that will give you that detail. And also notice again that you can collapse or expand these sections using the little arrow in the upper right hand corner of the section, again to maximize your screen space. Now you can use these power searches to find your results, but you can also do a custom search. Now one of the great features of Enterprise Advantage is that your reports are never deleted or purged. So once you place an order, you'll always be able to view and print those reports. If you want to search for a particular person's information and see the report you ordered on them, not a problem. You can search by that subject's name. If you want to search for all the orders that you've placed in say, the first quarter of 2013, you can do that by searching by a date range. Again, the reports are saved here on our platform indefinitely for your use. And you just have to tell the system what you'd like to see. Now I'm going to enter a sample date range. And I want to see all the reports ordered in that time frame. And here are the results of my search. Now, you can sort these results by clicking on any of the column headers. 
And remember that color coding that I mentioned earlier? Green is clear, and red, there's an alert. I can immediately see here that there are individuals with completed reports, and some have alerts. Now you can review your more detailed results on a person in a couple of different ways. But the way that I find the most handy is what we call the order details. Just click on a person's name. The order details screen lists each search that was ordered on a person. And you can see whether the search is complete, clear, or has some type of an alert. You'll notice here on my account that I have green, yellow, and red results. Most of the searches will have either green or red results. You would see yellow for international searches or employment or education, where we were not able to verify the information that was provided. A good example would be if you were doing an education verification and the school is closed for a holiday. We would send them a request but we wouldn't be able to give you a yes or no until we get an answer back from them. So in the meantime, we would close it as yellow. And when the school reopens, we'll make another attempt to complete it. And then with that information, we'll send it back out to you as either red or green. So you can see as I mouse over each of these searches, I'm getting links. I can click on one of the components to view the results or the status of that one particular search. Now at the bottom of these search results for the components, you'll see an order process history. Once a day, at a minimum, you'll get a note in here about what we're doing to complete the search. We constantly keep you up to date in this order process history on what we're doing to complete the searches that you've requested, and we'll give you an estimated completion time. Now you can print off this particular piece of the report, or you can download a PDF of it. Now, if you want to view the entire background screening report, you can click on the words background screen. And the report will open in a new window for you. Now, every report has a cover page. And then you'll see it lists the individual's information. And then you'll see a list of the searches that were ordered on that individual. And then as you scroll down the report, you'll see the detailed results of each search that was conducted. Now again, you can download or print the results. Now earlier, I showed you how to attach a copy of the consent for screening to the order. And this paper clip here is where you would be able to see that document. Now inside of a person's order, you also have some actions that you can take. For example, the customer service inquiry. If you have questions about the status of this order, uh, you could always call or email customer service with that. But maybe you can't call right now uh, because you're already listening to a webinar. Uh, if you want to email, then you have to find the email to send it to, type in the candidate's information, type in your question, and make sure that your contact information is there. Well, with the order action of sending a customer service inquiry, you don't have to do any of that. The candidate's information and your contact information are all here. So all you have to do is type in your inquiry and then click Submit. Now you can also send a customer service inquiry about one particular search. 
by selecting that search, and then under search type actions, you can select the customer service inquiry. Now I do encourage you, if you have a question about one particular search, to use the customer service inquiry at the search level. Now our customer service team is dedicated to responding to electronic messages like this or email communications within a maximum of two business hours. Now if two hours is not quite fast enough, you may have noticed the live chat option in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Now, live chat is available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It takes about a minute to connect you with a live representative to help you with questions about the platform, about your account, about an order, anything that you might need help with. I also want to point out one additional compliance feature of our Enterprise Advantage platform, and that's our correspondence letter functionality. Under order actions on a completed order, the correspondence letters option allows you to remain compliant with the FCRA regulations of sending letters notifying an individual that you're intending not to hire them based on the results of a background screen, otherwise known as the pre-adverse action. And then the adverse action that you've decided not to hire them based on the results of the background screen. The letters are stored in our platform and you can print them off and send them to the person. You can even make notes about what letter you sent and why. The system is going to track who did it and when so that you can remain compliant with that regulation. Now your accounts are not set up with this feature automatically. If you would like to have the functionality added to your account, contact your account manager or your customer service team, and they'll assist you with that. Now I also want to talk about administering your account. Under administration, every user at your company that has access to Enterprise Advantage will have their own user login. And that means that each one of them has their own specific rights in the system. So what you see and do may be completely different from what another person can see and do. As I've said earlier, it's highly configurable based on a user's needs and the access requirements for your organization. So under administration user settings, every user on the platform can administer some of their own settings. Clicking on Edit User Settings, the user can update their phone number or they can reset their password. You can do all of that right here online. Now earlier I mentioned several times in our training those email notifications. This is where you would set those up. Scroll down to the Auto Email Notification Preferences section and click on Edit. And here you can set up and change the email notification frequency. You can turn them on and you can choose how often you want them sent. And you can also select for what reason you want them sent. You can play with these settings and find the ones that meet your needs. Now under administration, company user list. If you're an administrator of your account, you also have the ability to access a list of company users. And you can add, edit, or disable users on your account 24-7. You can review what rights a user has and give them different rights. You can even create a new user using the Add New User button. Or Maybe someone's no longer with the company, you can inactivate them at a moment's notice. I'd also like to point out that we have a reporting tool built into Enterprise Advantage. Under Reports on the Navigation menu, 
Under Reports, the base reporting functionality includes some commonly requested managerial reports. Here you have alert statistics, turnaround time by search, and an open searches report. These reports are frequently requested by our customers, and again, they're available at your fingertips here. Now last but not least, I'd like to point out that under Help Tools, there is a training link. Now inside of that training link, you'll find links to training webinar schedules and helpful courses and materials. The learning portal is being updated every day with new tools. And there's also the frequently asked questions. The Frequently Asked Questions database is manned by our customer service team. Now on the home page, you'll see some hot topics. And if you don't see what you're looking for here, then you can also search by keyword, just like doing a Google search. And then under Help, you also have a link to your Enterprise Advantage User Guide. The user guide is going to cover everything and more that I've covered today. I hope this session has been informative. If you have any questions about your specific account setup, don't hesitate to reach out to your account manager or customer service team, and they'll be happy to help you. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Please stand by.